but yes. Yeah, Wolfman loves his sweet tea from McAllister's. Here, why don't you talk about your sweet tea? I'm gonna be a doll and go grab one. Oh, thank. Oh, you volunteered. Are they more than thank five you. bucks. I better not be. If it's not, if it is, then say never mind. So you know, I slaved over that. I waited in a long line. It was crazy hectic in there. Can you give me a, a paper towel or a napkin? I grab it and spew <laughs> tea all over my truck. Hurry up! I'm getting. <laughs> Guy, so thankful. Uh, so thankful. No, no, I'm not. I'm pissed. So thankful. I'm, I'm pissed. I ain't thankful. I'm pissed, man. Sweet is me sticky as man. Dude, you should have thought that through a little bit. I should have thought what through? I didn't pour the in there. Dude, you brought it to the truck, though. You, I, I bring I bring a drink to the truck, so dude, it, therefore so I, it's I'm my fault. The mood. You feel better now? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Get off my hand! My love! Clap. Wolf Tick Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tick Videos episode. And guys, on today's episode, we are going to be doing a little road trip action. Right now, if you can see back there, we got the uh, old Puma, our trailer. We got some e-bikes, and we are headed to a very popular camping site in Hot Springs, Arkansas. So, we were thinking, you know what? It's been a minute since we've done our little road trip episode as far as checking out different Walmarts, right? It's been? It seems like forever, but I think it's only a couple weeks. Maybe a couple weeks, okay. But everybody seemed to be a fan of that. So, we thought, look, we're going to Hot Springs, right? Home of the Northwoods Trails. Which we've is got the where Cedar the Glades Cats Park. Where the Cat's Meow is located. The That's Cat's the Meow, world famous, right? There's over 31, uh, it's like 31 miles of world-class trails in Arkansas, um, in Hot Springs. So, we so thought... Not in Arkansas. Well, in Arkansas, but in Hot Springs, as far as Northwoods is concerned, it is? yeah, miles? it's uh, over 31 miles of world-class trail. So we thought, being home of the Cat's Meow and home of Northwoods, they ought to have some bikes not only at Walmart's, but they ought to have some bikes at Dick's Sporting Goods. Because last time we've been at Dick's, I can't even tell you guys. So that's the home of the GT Aggressor Pro. You know, Which we're gonna find out what it's going for these days because i know it was on sale for a little while and i've heard the price has skyrocketed but we're gonna find this out is, right now uh, this is friday august 12th 2022 yeah so august 12th 2022 let's go check out some prices at a couple of local walmarts in hot springs home of the cats meow and then we're gonna probably check out some dicks that Dick's sporting it <laughs> let's get after it guys it's gonna be a fun episode um let's do it you ready yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right, so I got some snacks. Oh, boy. Wolfman done messed up. He done give me a budget and said, hey, <laughs> go grab me some snacks. So we I got don't know what snacks. you got, Jim. First thing Those we got. Because every road trip you're going to need. A little bit of sour ring. Yeah, also, like two -thirds. Yeah. also, that's what happens when you get old, folks. Yeah. Got a little bit of Harboro peach rings with yeah. the center still in there. That's yeah. like the donut hole of whoa, gummies. Whoa. All right, now for Wolfman. Bam, some Snickers popcorn. Oh, okay. You ever seen Snickers popcorn? I've never seen that. Yeah, they are good find. Mm -hmm. A while back on our last road trip, we did the exact same thing. And our homeboy, our patron, oh, old uh, e-bike builder, we put a recent video on. He goes, man, the only thing I'm upset about is your guys' is, uh, one of your last ones. You never, Wolfman never let me know how the the Twinkie was. The uh, hostess Twinkie Ice Latte. So you might build her this oh for you. Boy. I had to get this for you. Another Twinkie. All right, so on our way to Hot Springs, we will tune back in when Wolfman gets that open. Well, one hand and it's I'm driving. Latte. I want a damn good review, too. I'm not going to give you a damn good review. I want the real-time review. It's like a really, it, 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 it's a creamy, not real strong coffee, real creamy. And there is some Twinkie, you know that mouth feel that Twinkies give you? Like they coat your mouth, like yeah. that cream in there? Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of that to it. Ooh, as soon as you said that, I smelt the cream. Mm -hmm. Very strange. All right, guys, there you go, you bike builder. Now, we are on our way to hot <laughs> is, he, is, he, is he all good now? He's happy now, he's fine. All right. Okay, all right, let's now get out help. All 
All right, guys, we finally got the trailer unhooked. We got all the bikes yeah, unloaded. Like it took us all day or something. No, we're actually pretty damn efficient when it comes it's to unloading efficient. the bike. Like, we, us as we a team with before. unloading the trailer, it's it's like 10 minutes. Do you want to go to Albert Pike first oh, or Central? I, oh, oh, shut up. We're not going the wrong we're way. We're not going the wrong way. Um, do, are we not going to hit both of them? Yeah, but I, yeah, I want to talk about which one we're hitting first. Oh, okay. Well, let's go the closest one first. All right, closest one first is going to be Albert Pike. I think Albert Pike isn't in the greatest of locations as far as uh, Walmart right, go. One first. So I think we should go smallest to biggest, and I think that's going to be Walmart Albert Pike, Walmart Central, mm -hmm. and then Dick's Sporting Goods over there by Best Buy. All right, guys, here we go. Walmart Albert Pike. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we got some good news. It looks like they're redoing this Walmart. And sometimes when they redo Walmarts, you'll find a diamond in the rough. Wolfman's grabbing the hot sauce. And then uh, there's another version. Is it the avocado one? Yeah. yeah. Avocado hot sauce. Now, we're going to the bike section. We've been here a long time ago, and they had the Huffy Scout. Do you remember that? Hey, did we get the Scout here? No. No, no, no. You didn't? Uh-uh. You sure? Yeah, we didn't get it here. Where'd we get it? May have been here. Yeah. I don't know. We may have got the Huffy Scout. We, maybe it was here when we got it. So maybe there'll be something. Maybe there won't. It's not necessarily a bike hunt. It just. Yeah, it is a little bit. We're just kind of trying to show. Yeah, show people what you get, yeah, what you can time. find in the home of the cats and meow. Now, something I'm disappointed yeah. in is our Walmart at our home oh. in Moralton, home of Wolf Tick Videos. Exactly. The headquarters, USA. They ain't got nothing. I'm going to write a letter. There's Wolfman the getting stuck with the DVDs. Quit looking at the DVDs. <laughs> He He's addicted. He's got problems. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Anticipation build. Anticipation. Ready? Oh. Oh. Okay, well, first thing we got here is the Trevelle, okay? Now, it looks like the badging is off of it, which it's is okay. in stealth mode. But this is, this is, this is what got me. You ready? Hmm. I didn't even notice this. I noticed this. Look at this damn steer tube. <laughs> Look at that steer tube. What is that? That thing's huge. That's a rock rider. Oh, it's those rock yeah. riders. And those, these bikes here, I'm not sure how much this one is, but they're overpriced. The last one yeah. that we saw, just because they have a size frame, it was like 389. That's a uh, budget boundary, actually. Yeah. Cool. So they got a budget boundary. Uh huh. All right. Is that crazy framed Huffy full suspension? Hyper or hyper? Okay. It's awesome. We're seeing more and more bikes. Wow, 398, right? You guys see that 398? I think they got clearance for 170. Damn, the Velody is 398. No, it's not. Yes. The Velody's not look 398. Oh, that's a Travel. Uh huh. With the picture. Okay. Okay, it's still 248. What we got here? Is that a aluminum comp? We got the aluminum comp. A good old aluminum comp. Okay. Now the Loom Comp's a very good mountain bike. 27.5 tapered head tube. Dude, they raised the price on the Loom Comp. 50 bucks. Yeah, 50 bucks more, so 298. Now the Loom Comp is a really good starter bike. That's one I always recommend to people because the price, well, hell, it's almost $300 well, it now, but three by, it's just a lot of room for upgradability there. Sidewinder. I still want to do something with Sidewinder one of these days. Another 26er. Okay. Yeah. I was telling you guys earlier about Hot Springs. Not only is it home of Northwoods, but it's also home of all of the springs, hot springs. It's a whole bunch of bathhouses and stuff. Here, scoot over. I want to get the shot. Whoa, 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 Look at the shot. Well, is that for Brandy? Yeah, it's for Brandy. Well, big sister Brandy. Look at all those cruisers. So this being a tourist town, it kind of makes sense that we have this much cruiser selection. Look at this. I've never, look at that. Never seen one of a rock ride or something like that. That wasn't a cruiser come with a bell. Look her basket. Look, look at the uh, BMX. Oh, we got a little BMX bike. Yeah. Nothing special. I think it's got that thing where you can spin the. Yeah, it is. What is that called, guys? In the comments, leave me that. Where you can uh, spin your bars and not get your wires all mixed up, your cables and all that. Okay, so great thing is we've got a pretty good selection. There's even a Travail here. I mean, there's a a boundary, a Travail, a Schwinn aluminum comp, and a Genesis Velati. Uh, and that Velody probably shouldn't be in on that category. on this but, in the but, same but category. It's the next tier down, yeah. and I mean, and it, but it gives people options. But the Velody uh, used to be—I don't know what it is now. It used to be like one hundred and seventy-four, one hundred seventy-eight dollars. Oh, it used to be cheap. Well, they've got the CO two cartridge. That's something mm -hmm. that this whole Blackburn brand is really starting to kind of take over all the Walmart stuff. It used to be um, Bike Pro or something like that, and then now it's a Blackburn. 
bike locks, all that good stuff. Seats, helmets, full face. 49 bucks for a full face helmet. Well, it's, I mean, there's not a whole lot that we're looking for here. Let's go to the next Walmart and see what they offer. So we're at the uh, the other Walmart in, in Hot Springs, which is on Central or the Highway 7, what do you want to call it, the main, the main drag. And um, one of them. And this is one we normally go to when we stay as we camp right next door sometimes. This is this is the one that's had a mixed bag. But I think the other Walmart we just came from, I think it might be a little better than this one on average. I think it's gonna be hard to beat that last Walmart. What do you guys think? Is we there anything the, trail worthy that you would okay. be willing to take on the cat's meow at the last Walmart? Boundary, yes. Yes. Aluminum comp, yes. Trevelli, yes. Yes. And then Vladi Iffy. No. I've done it. Let's see what we got. Let this old. Watch the truck. Oh. You want me to park here? I gotta hold the camera down here so I'm not suspicious. Well, not not K5 suspicious. So K5 and basically. Hey, did I call on that last Walmart? I said that they were going through a rebuild phase, and sometimes that's a good thing. Not exactly sure how that made anything different about the bikes. Me neither. Oh, there's bikes <laughs> to the left. Way down there. All right, so what do we think we're going to get here? I think it's not going to be as good. And we haven't been here in, you know, a while. Oh, look at that card. I party when you can nap. You guys dare me to hit Wolfman's heels? I dare you. Oh, don't stop like that. I'm going to hit you. All right, so we've got... Here, can you record me on this one? Yeah. All right, so we've got a good selection oh, here. Oh, we're starting a pot. We've got two Travails, okay? And they have Trevally, the badging on Trevally. them. Triple Twin boundary. Mm -hmm. 348. And, you know, you start thinking, okay, you've got the uh, Trevelli, right? Travail. Travelli. Travelli. Um, for uh, 398 and then you've got the boundary for 348 $50. Now, guys, the biggest difference on both of those, number one is you have a seal cartridge in the Travail, and two, you have got the, a free hub as opposed to the free wheel on the boundary. So is that $50 savings? I yes. think it is. I mean, oh, but just by, by looking, just by looking at those really, bikes. The, really the difference is, isn't it? That and I then the, the Travail's in, is it? frame's a little smaller, no? Okay, um, also internal routing fork. on a Travail. And better fork, I believe. Yeah, and a better fork. Not everybody wants internal routing now. Uh, let's see, we got the Genesis Bellotti. Okay, is okay. there's the price on it, 248? 248. Oh, now, this is one on our other video we point out to you guys. Oh, yeah. I think it's a great bike, um, looking bike. It's the uh, women's aluminum comp with the tapered head tube. The Boundary Travail aluminum comp, women's aluminum comp, Velody. We've seen that a lot. Is there one. men's aluminum comp in here? I don't think There's so. There's a Sidewinder action. Man. What happened to their cruiser? It used to be 100 bucks. I don't know. Like those blue ones up there? Those used to be 100 bucks. 168. That's So crazy. we got a 168. So we're looking at 168 on the cruisers, 119 on my two cart carrier child no. thing like I wanted. Not, not too impressed with this one. This is the bigger of the Walmart. All right, well, we had to switch out because there's something scary going on over there. I don't know what that was. Um, I don't think there's really anything here. Well, there's definitely stuff here if you're, in a, if you're looking for... If you're in bikes. Hot Springs looking for those bikes, especially if you got, got a wife a or a girlfriend, you're looking for the, the aluminum comp, you know? I know aluminum a lot of viewers... Comp. A lot of the viewers on the channel, a lot of Wolf Stick Nation out there said that their wives uh, are actually have that bike or they're looking at act that exact bike. So yeah. good luck with you guys on those builds. But if, like I said, if we were to do a woman's build, I would I would get yeah. one of those. It just looks cool. But anyway, so that's what we have to offer with the Walmart, what Hot Walmart. Springs has to offer. can ride them too. I know. You're one of those guys, just like everybody else. I don't care. It's a women's bike. Okay. Um, now, let's go over. Guys. The one that brings that up all the time. Well, because that when you and say anybody like, can write anything. Yeah, but you, know? you keep talking about it like it's like it like it's only for women. It's not. It's to step through a little bit on the top bar. It's even a, a lot. Yeah. Let's let's go to Dick Sporting Goods. Okay, home of the GT Aggressor Pro. Yeah, let's go. Let's go see what they've got. All right. I'm excited about that. I haven't, we haven't been to this one in forever. Yeah. All right, boys and girls. Final stop. Dick's Sporting Goods, the home of the GT Aggressor Pro. Let's see the, what we got. The bike that kicked it all off for now, us. I started the channel, and I do want to say one thing. Mm -hmm. I have gone to this Dick Sporting Goods probably three or four times to get my warranty work on the GT Aggressor Pro mm -hmm. uh, because we had the um, 
the uh, no sweat protection. No sweat protection plan, right? And I will say they took very, very good care of they me did. here. This is my favorite Dick Sporting Goods. Excuse me. Um, so uh, yeah. let's go stop in. Let's Look. go say hi. Let's see what they got. I see a whole bunch of bikes hanging. All right, here we go. We got the bike selection. I always feel like this is an upper. Oh, dude, I just saw something. I thought I was like, oh, we're going to have to buy it. I saw this. $2.99 and I saw the GT sitting right behind it. I was like, well, we're getting the GT, I guess, but no, it's for the uh, Nishiki. <laughs> 22 inch, extra large frame. Is that a Colorado? You mean a Pueblo? Yeah, it looks like a, yeah, it's a Pueblo. Yeah, that's exactly what we had, just different color. That's a cool the color scheme. By 20. It's really cool color. Very cool color scheme. We have a, a Nishiki Pueblo, and I believe that was the second bike on the channel, right? Mm -hmm. And um, this one I also helped get started off with 26 inch. Mm -hmm. This is a 22, um, 22 inch frame for 299. But what nice I was getting back at, yeah, size that we've got. Um, and what I was saying was Dick Sporting Goods. It just always feels like a bigger echelon. Other, you know, better. I guess mentally, it just feels better than Walmart, like right off the bat. You know what I mean? Well, it's not really competition. It just it, it doesn't feel better. It feels like I would say it feels like in between Walmart and a bike shop. Yeah, there you go, Walmart in the bike shop. Um, now the bike that I wish they had was the Nishiki uh, Colorado. Yeah, that bike is. Knows. We've got a, a GT Aggressor Pro here. This looks like a, whoa, that's large. That does not look like a large frame, but I guess when it's up to the uh, Pueblo extra large frame, it does look, it does look a lot smaller. Uh oh, we're pimping over here. What are we pimping on? Oh, dude. Oh, damn, I thought it was a trike. Look at that thing. The river walk. Oh man. Dude. Yeah. You see the sparkle? You That's better, pretty. Okay. See that bike behind there, right there? That had better be a mongoose because that is copying the, the <laughs> Ardor paint all day. <laughs> all day. What is it? It's a Schwinn. Look at the paint. Look at that paint. You tell me. That's probably the leftover Ardor paint. Okay, we have a Nishiki. Um, ow. Tamrak. Okay, it's on sale. It looks to be uh, 50 bucks off on the Tamrak. Not really a mountain bike. GT Aggressor Pro, my buddy David's got this one here, that, that color scheme for $5.99. Okay, so I thought I thought they were a little bit more expensive on the GTs. You can see them on... Um... $5.99, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what they've been at. For, they went on sale again for a little while for like uh, 5 or four or something and then they're back up to six basically i mean so, the bike selection here is great but it's just so far as we're seeing is nishikis and gts way, and some if cruisers you're looking for the bikes that are here like if you're looking for a pueblo or a gt aggressive pro you know you're set but otherwise there's a little straggler stuff here now yeah there's just a lot of the same thing just in different colors mm -hmm. i want to uh show you something i'm damn excited about okay not a mountain bike but $2.99. It's a GT Kids Bank BMX bike, but um, I kept going like this, reaching for the front brake. <laughs> Where's the front brake? Where's the front brake? I don't know if I saw it or not. You almost put me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was gonna go for the split in between. I couldn't fit. <laughs> it was a little violent. You're Did you see that? You know, jeez, berserker. <laughs> damn, man. You knocked the tag off, Captain. Oh, oh, damn, I did knock it off. <laughs> That's what happens when you shred. <laughs> I see an e-bike. We're gonna go look at our e-bike. Okay, we have a GT. A GT Stomper. Is that the 26 inch? I believe this is a 26 inch kids bike. Yeah, 26 inch boys bike. 389. So a little better there. Mm -hmm. That's a cool looking frame. Yeah, it's frame on it. Yeah, that's different. 26 inch. Triangle frame, of course. Um, I wonder if it's got a cassette or a... Stomper. Let's see, we have got a free wheel. Oh. Yeah. That's pretty sick, really. That frame it's a, design it's a is pretty bike. sick. Yeah. Good kids, uh, that would have been a good project bike right there. Uh, it's a Schwinn e-bike. This is a Schwinn Marshall 27.5 step through electric hybrid. No, oh, you don't like it step through. Yeah, step through. Ergonomic I don't like grips. The twist. Oh, there oh, it is. Ergonomic grips. That's pretty much it. Just a lot of the same stuff. I'm kinda kinda disappointed. This is a Schwinn Men's GTX3 hybrid. That's a pretty sweet looking bike. But I mean other than that, guys, we got GT Aggressor Pros. We've got um Nishiki Tamraks. We've got Nishiki Pueblos and a GT 
what is that one over there called? The red one? Stomper. And that's about it. And the GT BMX bike, okay? And of course, we've got a damn good selection. In my opinion, I've seen better deals on helmets and stuff like that at bike shops. I mean, $70 helmets. You got some headgear. Headgear, yeah. All right, guys. Well, that was the journey in Hot Springs, Arkansas, right? Home of the cat's meow on Northwoods Trails. It turns out that it seems, in my opinion, I think Walmart might have a little bit better selection on the bikes than Dick Sporting Goods, right? And Dick Sporting Goods is a little bit more expensive. I mean, you got the GT Aggressor Pro for $5.99 and you got the Trevelli for $4.98? Uh, $3.98. That's $100 less, right? That's <laughs> $200 less. That's $200 less and you get a free wheel. I don't know. Or free you get, hub. You get free hub in both. Uh huh. Yeah. Damn, two hundred dollars less. Head tube and tapered head tube. What do you guys bike. think, man? And we also got the boundary. We got the aluminum. Is this turning into a comparison? No, not really. Just kind of talking about it. But I want this bike. I, I don't be surprised if at the end of this video you don't see this thing in the back of the pickup truck. Okay, <laughs> I want to be a max bike. But anyway, uh, guys, appreciate you watching Wolf Dick videos as always. Uh, appreciate all the support out there, uh, man. If you guys would like to help support the channel and uh, you know help pay for a little bit of that gas money, you guys can feel more than free to check out that PayPal link or the Buy a Cup of Coffee link down in the description below. And uh, man, you want some more uh, content, um, man? You uh, might ought to become a patron. Alrighty, so if you can uh, handle it. It's you a little, can handle it. A little heavy on the language. Appreciate everybody out there uh, watching our stuff, commenting. Make sure you guys comment. Have you seen anything that maybe we missed? You know what I mean? That stomper was kind of cool. But uh, all right, guys. Well, until next time, we will see you on the next one. That was another Wolf Tick Videos road trip or bike find, bike search. I found my bike. <laughs>